So we just pulled up to the spot that we're staying at tonight. It's just outside of uh, Brighton town centre. It's about five minutes away, 10 minutes away drive. We stayed here in the little van, didn't we? Yeah, we stayed here in the little van that we had. Probably about, probably about a year ago now. And it was also opposite a really lovely field, which we're going to take Willow for a walk in a sec because she's gagging for a walk. She's letting herself out. We have stayed here before. I think we walked over there before, didn't we? Only like five minutes. It's looking pretty lovely today. Very spring vibes. I even bought some daffs in Lidl for 89p. The sun's out. She's just there. The next morning the weather was a bit rubbish so instead of heading into Brighton we got some work done online in the van and had a pretty chilled out day. Good morning! We have woken up in Brighton for our second day. Leanne is in bed, <laughs> chilling. <laughs> Willow's attacking me. So today we're just going to go into town. We didn't do nothing at all yesterday. Uh, sorry, we did. We done loads. Well, we done a lot, but we didn't do a lot that would be fun on camera. Today we're just going to go into Brighton. It's a nice day today. Do some shopping, get a coffee, and then find a cool spot to stay tonight by the sea, I think. <laughs> so we just packed up the van. Now we're heading into Brighton. We're going to park up in a place called Madeira Drive. And you can actually stay there in your van. Is it, does it cost money? Yeah, it's like, it's only a couple of quid though. It's not too bad compared to the rest of Brighton. Yeah, it's a lot cheaper than if you park right on the front near the pier, but it's just back from the pier a little bit. But it's a good little spot if you want to go into town. Yeah, we're going to park up there and then get into Brighton. van trying to find another spot for the night right let's find a place <laughs> to stay where shall we go mm -hmm. so if you do want to stay here it is really good because it's only about a half hour or so walk from brighton center so it's perfect for a night out or if you want to go shopping etc we use the pay by phone app for three hours and I think it was about four pounds something but if you come a bit later uh, you don't have to pay from eight o'clock so perfect for a night out in your van you can go back to your van after and then I think it what what time does it start uh, you can stay from nine at uh, 8 p.m. till 9 a.m. perfect so as long as you're gone in the morning you've got a little free park up for the night right. and it is literally just on the front So we're going to leave Brighton now and we're going to head into Seaford, which is just down the road. Found a nice little spot on park for night. It looks like you can stay directly on the beachfront and I think it's free parking. So yeah, we'll get down there. Hopefully the sun's still out. Let's get to Seaford. Hello. Yeah, then get in your bed. So we're just pulling into Seaford now. The sun's come out. And it's lovely down there, isn't it? It's yeah, really nice. Never been here before. It's really nice. And I'll, apparently you can stay on this front, along here. I did just see a sign saying no caravans. Yeah, I think apparently it's not enforced. Ice cream vans are out! Ice cream vans. 
Just taking Willow for a walk, gonna try and find the town of Seaford. Uh, yeah, it's a lovely little spot to stay. Right on the beach, right on the front, public toilets close by. I think the town's pretty close by. The wicked little spot and it's free, so can't mind at that. So we just got back from Seaford Town Centre. It's a really nice little walk. Uh, really cool little town, done some charity shopping, found some bargains. Now we're just chilling. We're both starving, so yeah. we're gonna have an early dinner. We've got spag bowl for dinner tonight. It's only three o'clock though. <laughs> it's because we've got up early today and we, we, we've been getting up a bit late recently, haven't we? Yeah, we only had breakfast. I normally like to do lunch and dinner, not breakfast. Wait all day and then dinner. Yeah, we're hungry. So yeah. we're probably gonna eat something soon. Look at the view we're gonna have dinner with. I reckon it'll be a nice sunset as well. Yeah, the sun's directly in front of us, that'd be lovely. <laughs> so we've just finished our dinner in the van, just taking a walk on the beach now. Sunrise is looking lovely. Sunrise? Sunset. Sunset is looking lovely. So we are parked up just over there. Just over there. Literally right on the beach. Perfect spot for the summer. So we're just gonna take a little stroll and then get back to the van and chill. Just got back to the van. We've had a really nice evening. The sunset was lovely. We're just gonna chill tonight now. Uh, stick a bit of YouTube on, and we'll see you in the morning. See you in the morning. Next morning, we woke up and took a nice walk around Seaford Beach. We got a coffee and walked up along the cliffs, which was literally a five-minute walk from where we parked the van for the night, and it was absolutely stunning. We all got jelly legs looking over the edge, and then we headed back to the van and got on our way to the next spot. So we've left Seaford now and we've come back to one of our favourite spots that we've come back to quite a lot to be fair, don't we? Yeah, we love it here. It's one of our favourite spots, you know, the Brighton area, right on top of the hill. Yeah, so we've parked up here for the night. So where we're staying is, uh, it's called Bo Peep Car Park in the South Downs. It's only a little car park and it's a really steep hill getting up. But once you're up there, the views are lovely. It gets quite windy up there when it's... Yeah, in the winter, <laughs> it does get quite windy. But um, yeah, it's on a place called the Furl Estate. And this spot is also located directly on, it's located directly on the South Downs Way, which runs 100 miles across the South Downs. It's a good spot if you want to check out the South Downs Way. Yeah, if you're into biking or if you just like long hikes, it's perfect. Yeah, lots of bike trails, you hiking done, trails. You've done the, uh, part of it on your bike, didn't you? Last yeah. Year. Yeah, there's loads and loads of routes around there. So when we pulled up, earlier at the spot there was already another van there which we was admiring and uh, it turned out to be no fixed abode on Instagram and they're really lovely 
Uh, we were just having like a chat about vans and we had a look around their van which is lovely. But it's just so weird how when you meet like other people in vans, every layout feels so different. Yeah. But yeah, check them out on Instagram, see what they're up to. They said they were going to head off to Europe soon, so... Yeah, that's going to be really exciting to watch. I can't wait to see that. Keep an eye on that and watch their uh, travels around Europe. Hopefully it'll be us going Europe soon. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Hopefully. It's at the top of this road and then a left. We've been there before. Apparently there's a shop down the bottom of this road. I, I don't believe it. Oh, I've never seen a shop. Google I have Maps seen one. It says there's a shop too. I have seen one, but but I'm pretty sure that it's longer than a oh. half hour walk. <laughs> Liam was right. Who was right? Shop's around the corner. Six minutes to spare. If you don't trust your woman and you don't trust Google Maps, that's a bad <laughs> sign. <laughs> the way back up's going to be about an hour because that hill is big. It's all right, we need to get fit for summer. We do need to get a lot fitter. Yeah. If you want to do like. I more... think we've been saying this for about a year. <laughs> but we want to do more like trails and like hikes, so this is just training for that. Training. <laughs> Time is 20 past. Told you. One minute to spare. There's a water here. Yeah. Good secured in Bill's backpack. Now we have to get up there. Which will be fun. Fun. It's training. <laughs> That's nothing compared to uh, <laughs> Snowden. Snow dune. Snow dune. What do you reckon? It's definitely a big hill, isn't it? <laughs> oh. Definitely not going to up here. Up, yes, down, no. Oh, nearly there. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> Made it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Come on.